Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, we'll be seeing the GSM channel types or uh, various types of channel types which are there in the GSM system. So uh, to begin with, GSM network or GSM system has got primarily two different kinds of channels that is primary channel as well as logical channel. So uh, the primary channel can be represented with the help of a time slot in a TDMA frame. Uh, whereas the information that is sent depends upon the type of message that we need to send. So uh, the message could be a text message or it could be a pictorial message or it could be a, a voice message. So depending upon that, uh, we send the data and moreover, uh, the information or the type of message we sent over this physical channels represent the logical channels. So uh, inside the physical channel, uh, we get to see the logical channels and there is no separate branch or channel uh, particular uh, branch for that and also you must remember that these messages which are transmitted or uh, transferred over these physical channels are done by means of burst so it's a burst burst it can be in a form of bulk it's not uh, that one data is sent one at a time it's sent in a bulk so that's called as a burst and so we'll be seeing the logical relationship between the uh, all the channels as well as the burst we see the branches in this so let's get started so basically there are four different types of burst in this so we have frequency correction burst we have synchronization burst we have normal burst and we have access burst so uh, the logical channel since it carries the uh, main information we deal with that so logical channel is divided into two branches first we have the traffic channels towards the right and then towards the left we have the common channels so uh, traffic channels has got uh, three different types we have fr that is full rate or half rate it can be fr or hr then we have efr that is enhanced full rate and then we have the adaptive multi rate amr so uh, let's talk about the traffic channel so traffic channels are also called as tch uh, it basically carries the speech or the data uh, so it's used for representation of that kind of information uh, next in full rate or half rate what we have is we have the standard voice codec and the standard voice codec for FR is around 13 kbps and for HR that is half rate it's about 5.6 kbps uh, the half of this. Uh, next we have the enhanced full rate that is EFR. So EFR has better quality over this FR since it's enhanced. So enhancement is over the quality here and then the uh, transmission error rate is very low as compared to the full rate and it has a data rate of about 12.2 kbps somewhat uh, near to that of the full rate then we have the adaptive multi rate amr so amr is mainly concerned with the 3g systems uh, which we seen in the uh, gsm uh, kind of networks so uh, that was all regarding the traffic channels now let's move on to this uh, big branch or this big tree so uh, it's uh, called as the common channel so common channel has got certain control channels inside that so let's move on to this side so control channels represented by cch it controls the medium axis uh, whether you have to do tdma fdma cdma uh, those kinds of axis uh, is uh, denoted by the cch then it has the allocation of the traffic channels and the mobility management are all done by the control channel so control channel has also got three different uh, types first one is broadcast control channel that is bch bcch uh, it is used for identification of the network and uh, that identification or that information is further used by the ms to get the network access uh, then it gets the information about the mobile network code mnc which is used in the imsi and also it gets the location area code LAC and the list of frequencies which are used by the neighboring cells uh, which we see in the honeycomb structure uh, for the uh, footprint data. So uh, you can see here common channels are divided into three branches. We have BCH, we have triple CH and then we have D double CH. So BCH is divided into three branches. We have FCCH, we have SCH and BCCH and cch is divided into pch agch and rach whereas dcch is divided into cbch sd double ch fa double ch and sa double ch so uh, the uh, 
uh, three branches which is coming from the BCH uh, that is FCCH, SCH and BCCH uh, goes to frequency correction burst and then SCH goes to the synchronization burst whereas BCCH goes to the normal burst. So normal burst has the majority of the channels uh, whereas in TCH also uh, there is only one normal burst but uh, in common channels most of the other branches which is comprising from the common channel goes to the normal burst itself. So normal burst uh, without any uh, specific feature or without any specific add-ons you can just send the data as and when required. So uh, this have further bifurcations uh, going to access burst and normal burst. Uh, next we move on to the common control channel that is we have the triple CH so it shows the information about the connection setup which is uh, done between or established between the MS and the BS. So it stores all the relevant information, the user's profile and everything regarding the connection setup which is uh, done between the MS and the BS. Next we have the dedicated control channel that is DCCH. So uh, uh, to talk about uh, that we have all these channels not dedicated channel but we have the control channel, broadcast channel, common control channel, we have TCH and all. This all channels are unidirectional but when it comes to dedicated control channel it's bidirectional channel. So uh, bidirectional means you can do the communication from both the sides from both the ends. Uh, next dedicated control channel has got again three branches that is standalone DCCH that is called as SDCCH. So uh, it basically signifies the connection and it identifies uh, the user means it establishes a connection based on the user identification which user uh, whether it's a legal user or valid user. So depending upon that it establishes the connection and it does the resource allocation followed by that. And in this uh, case as long as an MS that is the mobile station does not establish uh, TCH that is the traffic channel with the BTS there in that case it can use this SDCCH with a low data rate of about 782 bits per second it's BPS which is used for signaling. So only in this case if uh, this scenario that is the very first condition that is the MS could not establish a TCH. Uh, with the base station then and only this comes into picture and it uh, does the data transfer at 782 bits per second. Next we have the slow associated CCH that is SACCH. So it mainly focuses on power changing of the MS. So uh, whenever during the power transmission the MS uh, just fluctuates its uh, power signaling. So basically it monitors that and it controls the power changing of that MS. Then the timing advancement, uh, the time frame or the time when the uh, data is sent so that everything is managed in uh, SACCH and then you have the sending of reports uh, based on some measurements done by the uh, mobile station. So mobile station before sending out any data uh, to the end system, uh, it will do some kind of certain measurements. So those measurements are essentially handled in uh, SACCH. Next we have the final type under uh, DCCH that is we have the fast associated CCH. So this is a slow and this is a fast. So this is mainly used for urgent messages if you want to send any uh, SOS messages or very important message priority message you can make use of this channel. And this channel is also used for stealing of frames from the TCH which is uh, like whether it's not available in normal case. Uh, then uh, you can enable this channel and just can capture frames from that and you can put the data and can display and it's used for faster transfer. That's why it's fast associated CCH, FACCH. So well that was all regarding the GSM channel types in wireless technology. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and got educated by watching this video. Please do like, share, comment and if you are new to this channel, please consider do subscribing. Thank you very much for watching this video.